Today we're gonna look inside Beast Academy level four. Some of you guys have heard of Beast Academy, maybe it was through my channel or somewhere else, and maybe you're a little curious about it. Well today I wanna show you inside level four of the Beast Academy and answer a couple of questions surrounding it. If you're new to my channel, my name is Vani and I make videos to help you on your homeschooling journey. So take a minute when you're done this video and browse around through all my playlists and see all that the channel has. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. First, I'm gonna answer the question, what is Beast Academy? So Beast Academy is a math program created for gifted math students. The problems cover more logic and in-depth review on topics that are not as deeply looked at in school and in other curriculum or math programs. So there are five levels to Beast Academy and when you are your child is done the level five, they're ready to move on to Art of Problem Solving Pre-Algebra. They recommend that you start a level behind your child's actual grade level because the, the problems can be really challenging. For example, if you have a fifth grader, you are gonna start Beast Academy at level four. And it goes more by age. So looking here on my phone, level one is for ages six through eight, level two is for ages eight through nine, level four is for ages 10 to 12, and level five is for ages 11 to 13. With Beast Academy, you're gonna aim to get through a chapter in 12 to 15 days in order to finish the whole thing, you know, your whole level within the school year. Some of the lessons can be five minutes, some can take up to an hour, so instead of going by lesson, they recommend that you do it by time. For example, having a timer set for 20 minutes a day and having your child work for that now for us we do mat, uh, homeschool work four days a week because we do our fifth days a homeschool co-op so in calculating that we're going to be doing Beast Academy math 45 minutes per day and just keep going until that 45 minutes is up and then stop when it's done and the reason is is because if you're using Beast Academy for your main homeschool curriculum you're gonna want to practice at least three hours a week which is what they recommend Beast Academy loosely covers common core standards but topics are covered in greater depth with more opportunities for problem solving and logical thinking than other programs so let's go ahead and take a look inside level four which is for grades five and ages 10 to 12 so the first lesson the first chapter in level four is on shapes so here you have lines rays and segments you have angles you have using a protractor you have quadrilaterals and lots of different puzzles that you can do so here you can see that there's stars this my son earned three here and two here and one over here so by earning one star your child is showing that they understand the lesson number two shows that they really get it and number three means that they even understand the most difficult sections surrounding whatever the topic is and some problems have a trophy here so that he can they can do the trophy problem if they earn three stars they get the trophy problem when you first log into beast academy you're going to get this home screen you have your library which has all of the text and what's cool about this is that the text is in comic book form so if we go to shapes you have the chapter here and it's all based on the beast they're math beasts so the lessons are held with conversations there's not like a textbook where they're telling their child what to do there's a conversation there's a story plot there's something happening and there's a reason for why they need to figure out a specific type of math so here in fishing they're learning about segments and lines and the origin of the line and rays and all of these things with a little comic book story here. Some lessons also have a video. So we're going to the class right now and we'll go to a lesson. So this one is naming quadrilaterals. So you see these are all locked and in order to unlock them, you just have to get this problem right. You get two tries in order to get it right and then they give you the answer and then you don't, you know, that's how you earn your stars. If you get all of them right, you get three stars. If you don't get any stars, then they have to redo the lesson. So you have a basic instruction here but you also have here your lesson like i said based on like a comic story and there's there's reasons why and they, they want to figure out what a parallelogram is and things like that and then they have little jokes and it makes it funny for the kids my son laughs every time he reads through these things 
you also have a video for the lesson. Most lessons do have a video. And I love this guy. He teaches things so well. Whether each of these statements is true or false. Start off with every rectangle is a square. Every rectangle. I'll go ahead and sketch a rectangle. There's a rectangle right there. All four angles are equal. That's clearly not a square because all four sides are not equal. We need that in order to be a square. So I found one rectangle that's not a square, and that's enough for me to know that this is false. When we have all right, so he does a great job at teaching the lessons and getting your child and you to understand it so that you can help your child. And also, if you log out of your child's thing and sign into the parent account, you will get to see exactly the problem he got wrong or she got wrong. And it teaches you how to do it and what the right answer is. So you don't have to go and sit here and watch the video and read the comics and all that stuff. You can kind of just skip to the the answer and the reasoning behind why it's there. So then you have multiplication, then you have exponents, you have counting, which is using Venn diagrams, factorials, like the Venn diagrams are, it's gonna have a word problem. And then you have to just try and figure out using math, how to figure out the answer to whatever the word problem is working with a Venn diagram. You have division, logic, factors, fractions, integers, more fractions, multiplying and dividing fractions, and before was adding subtracting fractions. You have decimals and then probability. So those are all the things your child's gonna be learning for level four. So that's basically it. That was just like a brief overview of level four, what your kids are gonna get. And if you wanna see a more detailed look into Beast Academy and how to use it, check out the video here. Uh, one of these two videos and that'll help you to see more inside of Beast Academy. You'll also get a, a lesson. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm also going to be posting an overview of level five and what to do after finishing level five of Beast Academy since it ends there. All right guys, I will see you in the next video.